Brothers and sisters, there is a great battle taking place across our nation today. On one side stand those who want to distract you, divide you, and use your power to fulfill their own greed. On the other side stand those who are begging you to unite, to focus on your own future and take your power back into your own hands. On one side stand the forces of this new version of India and on the other stand those who fight for the India that was built from the toil of our people and the blood of our martyrs. In this land of Mahatma Gandhi and Sri Narayan Guruji, this land of the great people of Kerala that celebrate Vishu and Onam and Eid and Easter, this land of harmony and plurality, of equality and education, I implore you to recognize that this election is no mere election. It is a fight for the soul of this great nation. It is a fight for a democratic India that stood valiantly against tyranny and inequality. It is a fight for the freedom we once took for granted. It is a fight for hope. It is a fight for all that is right. India does not need hate and ang hatred and anger. It needs unity to survive. It needs love to hold its diverse cultures together. It needs real progress permeating down to each citizen to fulfill the dreams of its millions of young men and women. It needs dissent and justice and equality. And it needs a billion voices to speak their own truths with freedom and fearlessness in order to stand among the great nations of the world and give its children the future they deserve. So my sisters and brothers, as I stand before you today on our motherland, this land that all of us love so dearly, I want to remind you that you have an onerous responsibility towards your country today. The choice you make in a few days will determine which side will win this battle for India's soul. Choose with the force of dharma in your hearts and the power of truth in your beings. Choose wisely and choose well. The future of our great nation for which your forefathers and our forefathers fought is in your hands today. Thank you for listening to me so carefully and I hope that the words I have spoken will remain in your hearts and your minds when you go to vote in a few days. I hope you will vote for the India that we all love for a strong future for us and for your children. Thank you.